With the lame duck session quickly winding down, the issue of a new school funding formula has emerged as a real snafu in Trenton. The governor wants to act like yesterday, while the legislature wants to do something on the 7th of never. So this Patriots Week in New Jersey, I wanted to reach back in time to an era when our leaders proved that ponytails and political courage really do mix. Governor Livingston, if you can hear me, this is Jay Lasseter calling in from 2007. How do you assess the chance for success to find a school funding formula here in New Jersey, here in the new millennium? There have not been many victories. Not that you can count on one hand, in fact. Perhaps not even on the fingers of half a hand. Well, the lame duck session ends in just a couple days, Governor. How much wiggle room will our legislators have to make a school funding thing work out? Aren't we running out of time? They're going to run out of men. They're going to run out of supplies. They're going to run out of support in their little island for this great undertaking of theirs. Property taxes up and school funding flat. How do you think New Jersey citizens feel? As far as I have been able to determine, and from them and those who have shared information with me, it breaks down in this manner. Approximately one-third of the populace in any given place seem to be in favor. About one-third would prefer things to remain as they were. Known them. It is difficult for people to change. Another one-third of the population in any given state don't care. Um, I have found, on the other hand, that Tories, when their homes are burning as the result of a battle that happens to sweep by, uh, usually change their stand politically. What I believe we need in New Jersey is a truly progressive income tax so we can stop funding our schools with property taxes. Alas, I doubt the folks in Trenton are willing to bite that bullet. They all remembered what happened to Governor Florio in 1993. He was crucified. To be hanged like a gentleman alongside the other great patriots, all of whom, if we should fail in this cause, will be rounded up, given a fair trial, and hanged. We have, by now, surely, as Julius Caesar said, crossed our Rubicon. Most of the important things that happen in history often happen when you least expect them. I can, without fear of contradiction, and with the greatest faith, guarantee you that George Washington will not let you down.